Hey everyone, this is Maxim from Element.O and we are going to learn why you should avoid pop-ups if you are using them for a navigation on your website. So the first thing you need to know is that when you have a pop-up and a, in this article I have many different uh, examples of an anim animated icon and I have a Easter egg here that launches what is essentially a uh, like full screen navigation menu and that's a pop-up and I'm going to show you why why you should uh, never use this with a few caveats so essentially uh, for this we need to dig in the code a bit just bear with me so this is the content of the pop-up now I'm in the navigator and if we go back up, 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 here. Yeah. So here is the container element to this entire pop-up. Every single element talk pop-up works this way. It has this kind of container and then in it is the HTML that makes up the pop-up. Nothing uh, special here. All of this is perfectly fine. But watch what happened when I close the pop-up. So now you see all this HTML, it's all in the pop-up if I close it. You see it all disappeared, it kicked me back to the container element and then even if I right click on it and click on expand recursively which should like open it all and we should see all the HTML. It's, it's kind of empty anymore, there is nothing, there is just like this empty shell, all the HTML is not there. And here what we have when we are in the, in the dev tools in the element panel is the DOM the document object model. This is what Google is uh, looking at when, uh, when it's like uh, indexing the website. That's what Google cares about because that's what the user sees. If something is not in the DOM, Google doesn't care about it because it's, it's essentially not on the website as far as Google is concerned. So when you have your navigation uh, in a pop-up, of course, Google doesn't go like everywhere on your page and try to trigger uh, everything opened or whatnot. It just loads the page and then looks look at what's there. So if your navigation is in a pop-up, Google sees this. It doesn't see any of the URL, any of the links, uh, any of the titles. And, and so all, all this very, very juicy um, linking and in, in linking, in, in your own website uh, internal linking, all of this is essentially thrown away when you're using a pop-up for your navigation. So for marketing purpose, it's, it's very good. It's almost better to have it this way when you have a marketing pop-up. That's great. But for navigation, like say goodbye to your SEO uh, because it's, it's really like really not good. And I, I will even prove this further. But first, let's uh, let's open it again. Uh, let's try to find something. All right, this string of text should be enough just so that we can easily find our way around. And now let me show you. Uh, because I showed this to someone and then what he did, he, he went in, on, on the source code. And then he showed me that the the HTML for the pop-up was in the source code so that everything should be fine. And, and you see, we can find it. Uh, it's true. The HTML for uh, every pop-up is found in the source. And so as well as like all the links and everything. But like I just mentioned, Google doesn't really care about the source HTML. It cares about the DOM and it's not in the DOM. And this, I will prove it to you right now. So you can go to your Google search console for any page where you might have a pop-up navigation, enter the URL to this page, uh, and hopefully it will alwe uh, already be uh, present and indexed by Google. Then you will click on view crawl page. Like that's a cool thing about Google. It tells you exactly what, what's going on and, and what, what it's uh, indexing. So here, again, we have like all the HTML and we can search. 
And now I don't have uh, the keyword saved anymore. Let me go back there and copy it. And let's search for it. And no, it's not found anywhere. And let's say it was maybe because of some, some spacing problem. Let's just add as little text as possible. So newsletter, it's found, but it's not what we are looking for. It's just some some stuff from my plugin. But yeah, the, the what Google has crawled is not uh, anywhere found. The pop-up is not found anywhere into like what Google has scrolled. So if I enter this word now, it will be more precise because it's very unique. So you see no results, which means that Google is telling us like directly, I have not seen the content of your pop-up. So whatever is in it, uh, it won't add like anything at all for your SEO. It won't do any good at all. And yeah, so many people in the forums uh, and in the Facebook groups, they recommend using pop-ups sometimes for full screen navigation. Well, I wanted to show you uh, clearly why this was not a good idea. Except, of course, like if you don't care about SEO, there are some cases where let's say it's a private website, then it doesn't really matter. But if you care about SEO, uh, which is like most websites, then you should avoid using pop-ups. And on my website, I have a, a few articles that show you alternatives for full screen navigation. So this one, for example, is a good one I made recently. You will find it uh, in my most recent uh, video. And finally, uh, I would, wanted also to point out that Elementor themselves, they have two articles about uh, how to create a pop-up uh, navigation, essentially, and that in not one of these article did they mention anything about being careful uh, about SEO. So in this one, no SEO mentioned at all anywhere, and then a eh, neither. So I find this uh, quite uh, irresponsible from Elementor to tell their user a strategy that will hurt their SEO, uh, like undoubtedly, or the, their SEO. There is no doubt about it because it's it's just not indexed at all. So, yeah, hopefully they should at least add some kind of warning. Uh, it will screw your SEO completely, <laughs> but go forward if you don't care or something. But yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. And then I said there was a small caveat to this. If you use a full screen, well, if you use a, uh, a pop-up for your navigation, but it's only on mobile and on desktop, you still have like a navigation, let's say something like this, you know, just a normal navigation. And those are like essentially the same navigation. In this case, it's much better because Google will see one of these and even if it doesn't see the content of, uh, let's say the one that's on mobile in a pop-up, but it sees the, the same one on desktop because it's directly in the HTML, then this is much better and less of a concern. Personally, I still, I still would not risk it. Uh, I, I would just use something that's always in the HTML like for all viewports. But yeah, if it's a mobile only navigation pop-up, uh, you might be, uh, well, for sure you are much, much better and, and maybe you are just fine. So uh, that's all I have for you today. And thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.